Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark 7, 31 to 37. Returning from the district of Tyre, Jesus went by way of Sidon towards the Sea of Galilee, right through the Decapolis region. And they brought him a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech, and they asked him to lay his hand on him. He took him aside in private, away from the crowd, put his fingers into the man's ears, and touched his tongue with spittle. Then, looking up to heaven, he sighed, and he said to him, A father, that is, be opened. And his ears were opened, and the ligament of his tongue was loosened, and he spoke clearly. And Jesus ordered them to tell no one about it, but the more he insisted, the more widely they published it. Their admiration was unbounded. He has done all things well, they said. He makes the deaf hear and the dumb speak. To God, no one is forgotten or ignored. He does all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the dumb speak. Jesus traveled outside of Galilee, where he met the Syrophoenician woman whose daughter he healed. And in today's passage, he meets a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech. Jesus, being outside his main thoroughfare, shows, in a concrete way, God's concern for everyone. God will continually reach out to those who are on the margins. To God, each one is like that one sheep for whom he must leave everyone else to seek out and bring joyfully back home. To God, no one is forgotten or ignored. This healing demonstrates the transformative power of Jesus and the ways in which he brings hope and healing to people's lives. It encourages Christians in particular and people in general to have faith in Jesus and to trust in his ability to work in their lives. This healing also reminds us of our common vocation, which is to hear and proclaim the good news. We are never healed for our own sake only there is always an evangelizing responsibility in our healing. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May he come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.